Hello, my name is Tine. In this video I will show you my new big boy toy I got it from Banggood. This is Sparkmaker light curing desktop printer. This kind of printer was quite expensive so far, but this one is the cheapest resin printer and can get for about $200. Let's check it out. One thing is clearly here, they take the manual very seriously. Manual is really good, we can find here everything about settings, maintenance, problems, using slicing software, FAQ and so on. Inside of printer we can find 24 volts 2 amp power supply with power switch, cable and a 2 hex case. The whole printer is really small and compact and it offers 98 by 55 by 125 mm build volume. I want to check a bit firstly, so I remove the bath and find a sticker under, so apply them to its place. Here we got entire aluminium bath with FEP film on bottom. Entire printing housing is plastic, but the main parts like the Z-axis holder are made out of aluminium. Then there's a quality ball lid for a Z-axis and a stepper motor with trapezoidal treat on its axis. That screw is a part of motor, so there is no additional coupling which can make additional problem. So the building table is rigid and that's matter I think. Ok, it wasn't, until I tied these two screws for the Z-nut. Now I plug the power supply and turn on the printer for the first time. Green light and button glow for a second and then it turned to blue. Which means no SD card. So all we can do at this point is moving Z-axis up and down with rotating the knob. Second thing is calibrating the table. That process is much easier than on FDM printers. All we need to do here is untie four table screws and lower down the table until the optical sensor stops the motor. That means that we are on zero Z-axis position. Now just push the table gently to LCD and tighten all four screws. When you're moving Z-axis manual be careful because there's no upper limit. Printer is now ready to print, so I prepare the PC and install slicing software Chi2 box. But I don't got lucky with my old laptop and 32-bit Windows 7. Some DLL files was missing. I tried with fixing for about an hour, then give up and take better PC with 64-bit Windows 7. Go to Sparkmaker website and download the Sparkmaker files. In folder we downloaded is all the files we need. Firmware for Sparkmaker original and full HD version. Settings, Cheeto Box 32 and 64 bit, testing SDL and so on. This time I just installed the Cheeto Box and it worked in the first try without any problems. Let's check now what we got here. First of all, I direct testing SDL file into Slicer software, then go to Settings and first of all import new printer. And now we got proper settings for LCD size and pixels. Then we can set the density and price of resin. And here on print tab we got all the settings interesting for us. Here we set everything about printing, layer high, exposure times, speeds and so on. Into 4th tab we can set the infill and its density. And 5th tab we set the UV light. But manufacturer says that we don't need to change that, so I leave as it is. After we set the slicing settings we can open another tab, where we got lot of settings for support. And we can easily add them automatically or manually. But I don't talk about specific slicing and support settings, because I don't got enough experience and still learning to get best and fastest result. After few broken prints you'll get it what's going on about and that's the best way to learning. When we got everything set up just click slice and that's it. On the right side we can see the LCD pixel of each layer. We can also see amount of resin we'll use, weight, price of used resin and printing time. Now just export the code and save it to SD card. Now turn on the printer and install SD card. Button will turn green, that means that the SD card is inserted and printer is ready to print. Before I put resin into bath I make a dry test to see how it works. When the SD card is inserted we just push the button and the light turn out red, that means printing. But firstly the z-axis come to zero point. But I interrupted the optical sensor so we got a better view. Now we can see how the LCD masking the whole area except the pixels of the model. That pixels become transparent so UV light can go through and curd the resin just on that spot. 
After the curing time is expired, UV light turn off and the Z-axis start lifting slowly so the curd resin peel off from the FEP film. Then again, Z-axis lower down to cure another layer and repeat. Good thing on that printing technique is that the entire layer is hardened at the same time and needs same time to harden no matter how big the area is. Printing time is depend only from layer height and entire model height. Ok, let's try the resin now. I buy 4 bottles of resin. They cost 35 to 45 dollars per 500 milliliters. I got here blue one from Creality, grey one from Sen Chunk and black and white from Anycubic. Before start printing with resin I just show you the equipment I use for printing. First of all we need to know, resin is toxic, so don't touch them with a bare hand. Ok, of course we need a 3D printer and a resin. Then most important, gloves, protection glasses and respirator. Then we need a plastic spatula. It didn't come with a printer, so I print few of them with FDM printer and work great. We need them to clean the FEP film after every print. If there stays some hardened resin it can broke the LCD next time the Z-axis will go to zero point. Then I got a steel spatula with sharp touch, so taking models from printing bed is really easy with use of leverage force. Then we need an alcohol to clean the printed model, tools, bed and so on. I use two different alcohol, 6, 96 and 99%, boot work fine. I store alcohol into storage box, which is big enough to clean entire table into. But after few print the alcohol become dirty, so I start using second stage bottle to clean the models before curing. Of course we need some brush to clean with alcohol. This can be a bit dirty job, so make sure you got paper towels all the time on your reach. When we puring resin back to bottle it's good if we got some paint filter, because there can stay some cured piece of resin. Then we need tools for post, like knife, file, sandpaper and so on. But one more thing we need to buy is UV light for curing the models. I just take a basic UV bulb and it work ok. Now it's about time to pure some resin into bed. Insert SD card and press the button. Printer will go to zero point and then start printing. Meanwhile cover the printer with red cover. It will stop the UV light from the sun and lights and prevent curing cover resin into bed. And also stop a bit of smell coming out of resin. When the print is finished it moves the z-axis all the way up, so the resin can drain from the model. But there are still some resin on the table. I try to clean them at least a bit, so save a bit of resin and the cleaning alcohol lasts longer. That model is small, so it peel off from the table really easy. Model look dirty because it's full of resin, so prepare the alcohol and clean the model. Be sure that you clean well, especially some tiny holes, grooves and so on. Now all the details will appear. We can see all the layers and XY pixels, but the model is still wet and soft enough that we can bend them. And the model is still unsafe to touch it with bare hand. To finish the model we need to cure it under UV light, but before make sure that the model is totally dry, otherwise you'll get bad result after curing. I think the best and fastest way to dry the model is to blow them with compressed air, so alcohol blow away also from the smallest holes. When the model is completely dry we can put it under UV light for finish curing. After a few minutes model becomes strong and completely dry. And now we can touch the model with bare hands. Let's see the result now. This is my first two prints so I need to learn a bit more to get right parameters for breast result. Left one is printed in 0.05 mm layer and right one is in 0.1 mm layer high. We can see on the left one that Z resolution is better, but the X and Y resolution stay the same, so I think it's got no sense printing thinner layer than 0.1mm. But I still talk about the original Spark Maker. On the full HD version the pixel is smaller so you got much better resolution and also got a bit bigger building area. Top layer look and feel really smooth, but if you look it closely we can see each pixel from the LCD. It's got no sense, but just a quick compare to the FDM printed models with 04 nozzle PLA. Green with 02 and blue with 01 mm layer high. Blue one is a bit over extrusion, so actually green one with 02 layer look much better, but anyway, lot of details are missing. Now I clean the printer to try another resin, then we'll check a few more models. 
It looked like a lot of work to clean everything, but the resin cleaned really nice with alcohol. So to clean building table, bed and all the tools take us just a minute or two. Firstly I clean the table, then take off the bath and pure excess of resin back to bottle using filter. After use I clean also the filter for next use. Then just clean the bath with some alcohol and wipe everything with towel and that's it. When put the bath back on be sure that you got no dirt between LCD and FEP film, otherwise there will be shadow and the resin will not cure on that spot. Ok, printer is clean and I can try another resin. This time it's Creality Bright Blue. Exposure time 15 seconds work ok on that resin. I try to set exposure time from 10 to 16 seconds, depend on the resin. But I think the darker the resin is, longer exposure time it need to cure enough so the model won't break it during print. After I got sliced model into SD card, just turn on the printer, insert SD card and press button. After an hour of printing we still can't see anything, maybe the first layer go wrong and we don't have anything on table so far. Well, that's why the printer got another function. Anytime during printing we can push the button and the printer will finish the layer and then lift the z-axis for 40mm, which is enough to check the progress. If there's something wrong turn off the printer and start again, otherwise just push the button and the printer will continue printing from the layer you stop. After 2.5 hours I got printed all the components for the Abrams tank scaled down to 40%. This time I tilt the model for about 30 degree, so the layers got smaller areas, that mean less chance to broke the model between table and FEP film. But in that case we need support, which is built from the raft, and the raft got slope so taking it from building table is really easy. Then again clean the models with alcohol, blow it to perfect dry and cure it with UV light. Then just remove the supports and that's it. I got finished Abrams 40mm long, with lot of details. Well, a few of them I broke it during cleaning, like this two barrel here. That mesh is a bit deformed, because there was not enough supports on that critical area. And also you can see that the top part is much more glossy than the bottom part. That's because I didn't clean them enough before final curing. I just removed the support and assembled them, so you can still see traces from support. Removing the support is easier than you can imagine, because when the model is cured that plastic become hard, but easy to broke. We just need to be careful in removing support from tiny details. Wow, look at that, all the supports removed in one piece. There stay tiny dots from supports on the model, but it's very easy to remove. I just scratch it with a knife, it's fast and leave no traces. Of course you can use also files, sandpaper and so on. Yep, that dino got a bit deformed mouth because I didn't use enough support, but who cares, just look at that detailed teeth. For the end I couldn't resist to try mix white resin with the color, I just used suitable cake paint. That paint is based on water, so it don't mix good with the resin, but on the end it's work and I got the result I want. But I think that the power red dye colors or powder egg colors work much better, but I believe that affect the properties of resin. Let's check now a few more models. Here I got a T800, it's a bit deformed because they scaled down too much and some all become too thin, and also exposure time was too short, and that's why the layers are split. Here I got a bench in, 100% size. Also that one is deformed, because I need lot of time to get that the 10 seconds exposure time is not enough for colored resin. We can see here the white spots on the model, that's become if we cure the model before it's dry, that's the traces of alcohol. As I said the top layer is awesome smooth. Compared to the FDM printed bench it's smooth like it was molded. If you look closer the XY resolution is still visible, but just don't that much like every layer on PLA. By the roof we can see that the white one is printed in 02 layer and the blue one is 01mm layer high. And here on the side of the door is just the right angle so every pixel become visible like huge fail, but it's just the size of a single pixel. Right angel make it horrible to look. For the end I printed also small bench out of each resin. All of them with same file on SD card, so on the black and dark green one got fail. Exposure time was too short for the dark resin to cure it enough. Also baby Jodo was printed with same file, but the model is easier to print and everyone come out nicely. What can I say for the end? We need to know that it is the cheapest resin printer on the market so far. For a $200 it's awesome machine, it can print super small models with lot of details. 
but after I see how easy is to broke that plastic, and after a few hours under UV light it become all the yellow, I don't see some common use of that prints, like FDM printers, where I make lot of use of print out of PLA, ABS or PHG. But of course, also there we can choose different resin, like water washable, flexible, tough, cast and so on. I think that printer is really good buy for people who love to print and paint figures and other stuff. Like that, my first airbrush work for example. But my advice is to buy full HD version. It's a bit more expensive, but offer much better printing resolution, bigger print area and offer wireless printing. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.